Hello guys, I'm stepping by from BSCSD 2021 and in this video, pag-aaralan natin kung paano gumawa ng multiplication table using multidimensional array. So, let's start. Nag-declare ako ng data types which is array and as you can see, it is a multidimensional array kasi gumamit ako ng dalawang um, brackets which stores dalawang array. Okay? And then, naglagay ako ng 10 kasi sa multiplication na gagawin natin is hanggang 10 by 10 ang gagawin. Okay? And then, nag-declare din ako ng int row and int column which will serve as a guide, um, a computation para makagawa tayo ng table. So, sa for loop natin, as you can see, guma, gumamit ako ng dot length. Kasi, um, dot length, its function is to determines the maximum output or number of an array which results um, to solve the total amount of array stored. Ibig sabihin nun, um, uh, ipapakita, um, i-show na ito yung pinaka-highest ma or maximum amount nung nasa loob ng array natin which is 10. Okay? And then, ayan, ito. Gumamit ako ng um, row times column para ipakita na um, mag-multiply yung row tsaka column natin hanggang sa makaubo tayo ng 10 by 10. And then, column is equals to column plus 1. Tapos, nag-add rin ako dito ng row is equals to row plus 1 and column is equals to 1. So, ganun na din sa baba ng for loop natin. Nakikita nyo rin na that length pa rin siya. And then, dito sa baba, dito na yung output. Um... Mm. and then nag-add din ako ng system that added pin dito so once it reach um, the maximum number in horizontally which is 10 um, mag-print na lang siya ng pababa ng pababa so let's see so ayan um, as you can see um, there are 10 integers um, on a row and 10 integers on a column so um, naging hanggang 100 to kasi nag-declare na tayo nung etong um, row times column. So, that will serve us to create a table um, until 100. Kasi, ang um, array natin na dalawa is 10 and then 10. So, so kapag ka multiple natin yun is making ang output niya 100. So, ayun lang guys and thank you. Bye-bye.